So first of all, welcome to the Distant Learning Certification Program at St. Phillips College. The purpose of this video is to provide you with an orientation for the Spring 2020 Fast Track Session 2. I'm going to share with you the basics of the program. And then I'm at the end, you'll have my email and my telephone number if you need to reach me with any questions. Earlier, I said this was a fast track program. And as we start this week, you will have between now and the 1st of May, to finish this program and to get certified. That is the goal because as you well know, after a certain time in May, it will not be possible to get you certified because we won't have any certifiers available to make that happen. So let's get started on the review of the program. And then again, at the end, you will have the telephone number. You will also have the email address where you can contact me should you have any questions. Officially, we begin on March 29th. You may not get to see this video until the 30th, depending on when you open your email, depending on when you open up their, your email. However, the program is up, we'll start running on Sunday the 29th, and the expectations are that you'll get going and get started and start working through. The first week uh, you will find is, is pretty busy. Um, so let's get started. The staff, the uh, personnel involved with the program are listed here in rank order. Dr. Vanessa Anderson is our Dean, the Dean of Academic Success, Academic Services. Ms. Diana Demas is the Interim Director of Instructional um, Innovation Center and also the Center for Distant Learning as well as the IIC Academic Coordinator. I primarily am the person you'll be dealing with in the program as the, as the instructional designer. Uh, next would be Mr. Reese Hearn, uh, who is a senior multimedia specialist. And then our team rounds out with Mr. Rudy Lopez, who is instructional designer for Alamo Colleges Online, who's our ACAL partner. Uh, Rudy is transitioning to a um, new position, so we don't know how much longer we'll have him to work with in the program. Our training goals is to prepare you to become quality instructors in a distant learning environment. And we center on best practices. You can see the best practices groups here, those described, as well as our format abides with by policies and procedures outlined by St. Phillips College and also Alamo College's district certification programs. So that being said, once you are certified in our program at St. Phillips, you're considered to be certified in all of the four other colleges in, that make up of the Alamo College's district. The training content includes uh, where you will be involved with content readings, demonstrations, examples, activities, and assessments. We have five parts to the program. The Canvas Technical Training or SPC Canvas Training Course, or the Pedagogy Best Practice Course, which is the SPC Distant Learning Certification Course, uh, Course Shell Development Workshops, one-to-one uh, -one consultations, and then, of course, the course readiness review uh, portion of the program, which based on what you build in your shells, a course readiness review committee will review it and provide feedback to you 
and certify whether you are your course is ready to be delivered. The learning outcomes are described throughout the program. Two key points, interaction and engagement among your, you, your students, and the content. This will have to be very successful in the program and teaching online. So what you can expect from us is that we'll continue to assist you with technical elements of the training. We will continue to provide uh, frequent and ongoing dialogue and support. We will also provide guidance and assistance with the design of your course. What we expect from you is start out by attending orientation, which you're doing right now, logging on to your training, training course regularly, completing your work, complete the readings, uh, the deadline for completing the online course requirements for the course is by uh, April 27th. All thing, all matters concerning the course should be completed by April 27th. You need to participate in all of the scheduled workshops. And then we're looking to get a, a panel review and get you certified by the 5th of May. So the characteristics of an online course that we're going to be trying to work with you on are listed in these bullets. Clear and specific online orientation. That'll be the first module that you'll build. And then your content modules, which will contain a varied content, collaborative and assessment tools, options for students to provide their input to the course, and the opportunity for regular communication between and among the students and yourself. So let's review the program and look at the pieces of the program. I will also include this information along with this PowerPoint in an email to you that will um, solidify what we're talking about today. First, there is a program schedule. It has been modified to uh, meet uh, the remote teaching strategies. Uh, there's, there's some changes that we made in order to accommodate the remote teaching um, program that we're going through right now in, at St. Phillips College. And so if you'll look, you'll see that there are requirements due by the 5th of April. There are requirements due by the 12th of April. There are requirements due by the 19th of April. Every week has a requirement. The requirements due by the 27th of uh, April. So um i really I, I really want you to understand that we're looking to get things done rather quickly and so um look for specific dates you will have a copy of the program schedule sent to you through email there is a checklist that's available that checklist contains the requirements for your course shell development it, this, this is a picture of it. It describes the things that you need to include. It has the numbers uh, in the checklist. You will use this checklist to check off as you complete uh, these items. We're gonna cover these items in the workshops. I'll repeat, we will cover these items in the workshops. And so you will need to check off as you complete these items. There's also the uh, online course readiness rubric, which is used by the reviewers of your course shell. You should also use the copy or a copy of it to review your shell prior to uh, having it reviewed. You will get a copy of this in the email. So let's talk about getting started. First of all, the next time you, if you, if you haven't noticed or, or maybe you've noticed this time, 
when you accessed Canvas, you noticed there were prompts for you to accept your role in at least two courses, if you haven't already. Uh, one of those courses was the SBC Canvas training course. And the second course is the SBC DL certification course. Could ask you to modify your user settings in your profile. Uh, suggest you add a picture, but they're going to ask you to edit your profile so that you can receive notifications about due dates and changes in your profile. That at least you receive them. If you don't receive them immediately, that you will receive them daily. Also. Uh, if you're so inclined, you can also, if you haven't already, change your uh, the Canvas uh, app that is available for telephones as well as for iPads or other tablets. You may want to look into setting that up. If you need help with these settings, please contact me. So first task. Complete the Canvas training course. Deadline is April 5th, 11.59 on April 5th to complete the Canvas training course. If you've already completed it, please disregard it. I've, I've actually enrolled you in this course, but you'll need to complete that training course. That's the number one. Second is to complete modules one through five in the distant learning certification course. The deadline is also April 5th. 11.59. As you can see, we have a rather busy schedule the first week. So you want to go and get started and start working on the materials and finish out the Canvas course and modules one through five. After you complete those, then we'll, I'll open up the other modules and we'll begin to work on the workshops. If you have questions, or concerns, this slide contains my email as well as my telephone number. That number has been, when you dial that number, it will be forwarded to a number that, that comes directly to me. I look forward to working with you in the program. Again, we want to get started. First, complete the SBC Canvas course. Second, complete modules one through five of the distant learning certification course. Contact me this week if you need to. Looking forward to working with you throughout the program. It is fast track, so we got a lot going on. Uh, email me or call me if you need help. Thank you.